Just jumped out of the shower. We're on our way right now to take the van to get a face to get some added parts. Get some flares, get another window. Super excited. destination. Thank you for riding with the nibbles. So we made it. We're dropping it off. It's a little sad. Makes you feel like you need a name for it. For her, I think it's a her. I don't know. But you're like saying bye and you're like, you're gonna get a facelift, but you, it's gonna look so different when we get her back. It's called a makeover. I don't know. We'll see. So we picked this auto body shop for the flares solely because they've actually been licensed or have been doing flares and flares for longer than anybody else in the area. So we decided to use them. But the funny thing is, is that we're coming up and we parked. So we parked right there. There we are, right there. So we parked and we have to drop off the keys and we have to drop them off in a little mailbox. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> You want to do it? I want to do it. I can't do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm going to let Aww. daddy do it. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> oh! No, daddy! No! I think it falls to the floor, by the way. Let's find out. Nope, there's a little thing there. <laughs> okay, so I thought it was going to fall to the floor, but evidently it just goes like on a little ledge. Oh, that was scary. All right, one last time. So we're not going to have the van for a week, as you guys saw, dropping it off and everything like that. But we're not going to have it for a week, so we got to fill our time. But it's no problem. It's Saturday for us right now, Saturday morning. We have to go fix a problem that I did during the week with part of the materials for the van. And so we'll tell you more about that. But first, since we're going up into the city, we really want to go to the farmer's market. So we're going to go check out the farmer's market a little bit and then go and fix my problem. home now so we had to head basically all the way back into Portland which is over an hour away from where we live uh, to correct a mistake that Kirsten made as she mentioned 
Now, to be fair, it wasn't completely her fault. Sent her on a mission to pick up some Baltic birch plywood, which we were going to be using for the floor and walls in the van build. Uh, and one of the gentlemen, who is actually very helpful at Wood Crafters, the place we purchased the wood, also uh, mentioned to us about white birch, which has a lot of similar properties to Baltic birch, but is cheaper. Um, and that's what Kirsten brought home. And we contemplated and staying with that and using it, but um, we ultimately decided that no, we wanted to go back to the Baltic birch. That's what is kind of the uh, tried and true method from most people we've uh, you know read blogs about, watched videos on for band building. So we went all the way back up, able to return what we had, purchase new. Um, the biggest difference is, is the Baltic birch, like on our half inch sheets of plywood, have seven plies, and the white birch only had five. Um, but that little bit of a difference really adds a lot more integrity to the wood. Uh, like the screw grip strength for, for putting screws in it is significantly better. So we picked up um, the right wood. Uh, it came in at a higher price tag, obviously. But I think it's going to be the best option. Thousands of tears later. Hey guys, we're picking up the vlog today. We had wished and we had hoped that we'd be picking it up next after, you know, fixing the wood and everything like that. Um, that we would pick up the van and show you guys with the flares and the windows. But unfortunately, yesterday, which was about a week after we dropped the van off, so this is future me, uh, we got an email yesterday saying, hey, we need your van for another half a week because they were backed up in the paint shop. Um, pretty upset because I guess the van was just sitting there in the lot for a whole week and we could have been working on it. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, can't foresee that and they don't know our desires and our wishes and so we just had to go with the flow. But anyway, they needed the van for another week so they can now install the flares and the windows and stuff like that. So <clears throat> all within the last 24 hours, our whole life has literally like kind of did like a 180 where it was we thought this is what we were doing, but we're not doing it, so we gotta do something else. So as you can tell right now, I am driving, and we were uh, going to like discuss it a little bit more, but we found out this last week that our oldest is getting into a school that we really wanted in a whole nother state, and so we wanted to uh, jump on board and get moving on that and so we're like oh, okay we got like three four weeks before we need to be moving well as timelines go every time you plan uh, God laughs at it and says that's nice it's not my timing so we are currently moving our storage unit that we had because since we were in the trailer to uh, northern Idaho and we were thinking we were gonna do this in two or three weeks, but not having the van, we were kind of sitting on our um, bums during the week doing nothing, and we weren't okay with that. So in true Nivel's fashion, we have to keep moving and just keep life interesting and exciting. So that is currently what is happening right now, and the funny thing is, is all that un unfolded as I was getting my hair done. Um, and shout out to Heather at uh, Divine Hair Salon in Canby, Oregon. She is awesome. I would have to travel to her to go to my appointment, but that was totally okay because she, she's down to earth. She's pretty awesome, pretty cool. It's a really uh, small little salon in the back of a farm, so that's even cooler. But anyway, uh, every time I go see her, I either forget about my appointment or my life is changing dramatically. And the funny thing is, is that she's actually the one who started it. She's probably laughing right now if she's watching. Because my husband, the very first time I went into the salon for my hair, my husband 
um, and I were at odds. We weren't fully, fully fighting, but we were at odds because he felt that we needed to sell the farm and he didn't want to work his corporate job anymore. And of course, I'm a stay-at-home parent and to me, that's like a huge change. He's been with the company for eons, um, ever since we've been married, actually. So I was like, no, <laughs> we're not. And uh, while I was in my appointment, I my very first appointment, I was word vomiting onto Heather, my hairdresser, my brand new hairdresser, of the fact that he wants to up change everything and change everything. And she goes, well, maybe just do it. Do it for six months. Move into a trailer, see what happens. And if you don't like it, then go find a farm somewhere else or go buy a house and get back into what you're doing. What could hurt? It's only money and you don't want to waste your time. So I go out to the car and I look at my husband. And I was like, okay, you want to do it? Let's do it. And he had an interview with a new job and he got that job, only one interview and got that job. And I was like, all right, let's move in that direction. And that's what we've been doing. And so ever since then, every single time I go into my appointment, I'm like something's happening in my life. And she started it all with that first appointment. And it's like, oh, we found a trailer, we're moving into it. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, moving the trailer onto another farm. I am currently building a van. And then I go in this time and I'm like, Heather, it's the last time I'm gonna see you. I am moving to Idaho. And as I'm all, we're in there with her, and we just found out that we can't get the van back, and we're like, well, let's not waste the weekend, let's get moving. We end up last minute finding a U-Haul, last minute calling our storage unit and saying, hey, we gotta find a new storage unit, and we've been on wait lists. And of course, we get a call that day saying, hey, we got a storage unit, and it's big enough to work on the van, and so we're like, all right, what the heck, let's just jump on board and do it. And so within 24 hours, we went from, we're gonna be putting in our floors in the van to we're on our way to Idaho to move all of our belongings and stuff into a storage unit. So that's how it's playing out. And I'm excited. And to tell you the truth, Lucas and I are just like this power couple that we really solve problems really well. And honey, when you watch this, um, I just want to tell you, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm so thankful that you actually are listening to where God is taking us, and that you're leading our family in the direction that you feel called for. And here's to new adventures. And so far, everything's been playing out, and I just love you, and let's do this, and we got this, as Heather says, you got this. So yeah, one, one blessing after another keeps on rolling in. You know, we might get hit with something hard, but then, you know, one hard thing and we get two or three blessings right behind it. So we're just very grateful for that. So I will show you as we move along this little quick journey. Probably won't be showing a whole lot. You know, we uh, moved all of our stuff out of that one storage unit and now we're moving into the new storage unit. So go from there. U-Haul. 
Friday. Picked it up Friday. We loaded it Friday. We drove it all the way to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, North Idaho. Unloaded it and then came back on Sunday. And now we're back and we had to have it back before 4.30. I'm swollen. I think that's the worst thing about like quick trips is like you can't really keep control about what you're eating or where you're eating. It's like if you're hungry, you just have to eat. So my body feels swollen and just not happy or healthy, which sucks, but uh, it is what it is. I'm very proud of us. Proud of the boys. <laughs> I mean, I they were lucky because they got screen time, which they hardly ever get screen, screen time during the week or when we're not on road trips. But today, or this weekend, it was like, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And we all powered through it and we got it done and we made it. And we got the trailer back in time because it had to be back before 4.30 because somebody else was going to get it. Crazy. But we did it. We're hoping to see you guys when we're picking up the van any day. Uh, we'll see. See you then. Look how sweet that thing looks. Today's the day, two weeks and counting. She's back. Oh my goodness. Got our flares. Can you open the door? New window! My goodness. Window! Window! And flares. And flare. Awesome. So we got the CRL Lawrence T Vents uh, window. We were able to find one of those to put in that we're really excited about. And then we got our flares from Flare Space which I know a lot of people commented about um, how the flare does go past. So you can see my hand, there's a big opening, a big gap in here. So it does go past, but it gives you the um, extra room to sleep this way because Lucas is six feet, so we need the extra space. And then we have this uh, other window in the other flare space. So we're really excited for the add-on. We did have issues with this window why we didn't get it even sooner. Um, so first we got delayed because of the paint in the shop, which was a little frustrating because we could have had it while they were even waiting to get painted. And then they um, call us the day that they're supposed to have it done again and said that this window wasn't fitting into the flare because there was um, a gap. And so Flare Space sent out um, an adapter for the window for the flare. Um, which, so you can see, this is our first time seeing it too. It's wood. I do have some pictures I'll post in um, that shows the gap. And Flare Space was aware, but our guy even said that the piece that they sent still was having issues on it. And so he was definitely going to call them and talk to them about that. Um, so that was a bummer, but we got it fixed. We have our van today. Um, and then this window, obviously had, everything was fine on this one. So we're really stoked. All right, so we're going to close this one out, um, maybe short video, but essentially it was a few, a couple weeks on our end, simply with dealing with trying to get these flares installed. I'm happy that we went with someone who has a long history installing these flares um, for us locally. They're one of the companies who originally did these local. All right, when we were looking, like it was like last year we were looking at the flares and where who puts them in and all that information about it and they are the only body shop in our area that did them now there's like 20 of them so but we stuck with them in sandy yeah so glad for that um you know i've seen a lot of guys do it themselves we definitely could have tackled that uh but on these ones i just felt more comfortable having someone else do them for us and i was in that hiccup with the uh, arctic turn window not properly fitting the cutout and some issues so 
I'm sure that would have really made me more frustrated than it already did. But we are happy it's done. It looks good. The paint job looks great. Yeah, it does. So, um, but now we get the van back, which means we can get onto the next few phases and we got a lot to get cranking on real soon. So we're gonna wrap it up now. We're both starving, get some food. We'll see you soon. What do you think? Floor's next? Floor's next. See you with floors.